section 4, taking instant measurements at ambient conditions. With the chamber closed and empty, view the CO2 ref and CO2 analysis readings on main menu 1. These should stabilise in seconds to give similar CO2 concentrations. If these do not stabilise, check the chamber gaskets are sealed properly all the way around the chamber window. The H2O concentrations, EREF and EAM, should also be checked for similarity. Place a leaf in the chamber, ensuring that the window area is filled. Take care not to place the leaf in the back chamber to keep the fan clear. A leaf, once enclosed in the chamber, may take two minutes or less to readjust to the new microclimate. The CO2 analysis, or CAN value, is the concentration of CO2 within the leaf chamber. Similarly, EAN, or E analysis, is the water vapour concentration within the chamber. On main menu 2, watch for CI, substomatal CO2, to stabilise. This is a good indicator of leaf adjustment. CI is preferred over A as the indicator. This is because A mainly responds to changes in CO2 concentration, which tend to be faster than changes in water vapour, E values. Therefore, CI is normally the last value to settle. Before taking measurements, or records, create a data log file. Enter the logging menu and use the keys to name a log file with your choice of seven digits, letters and numbers. The log indicates where the recorded data will be stored. Touch time log to enter a time interval in minutes. Alternatively, press the green power button twice to return to main menu one. Automatic logging will now take place, or if you touch no log, automatic logging will be removed, but a data log file is still live. This is the file name that you created. Once values are stable, a record or data point may be taken via the touch screen using the record button on the top right. A message will alert that a log has been saved to the live data logging file. Alternatively, use the small black record button on the chamber handle just below the thumb latch.